What's good, YouTube? Your boy Matthew Walker, aka Just Matt. How y'all doing today, man? Hope y'all doing good, staying well, staying healthy, all that great stuff. And we, we got her, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> we got my mom on the channel. But well, welcome to the channel, mother. What do you, what do you, what do you have to say to the lovely people who's watching right now? Thank you for subscribing to my son's channel and thank you for following him and everything. I really appreciate that. All right, sounds good. Now today, this video is gonna be four crazy stories of Larry Bird basically saying how tough he was, okay? I already saw this video, as you can see right here. I'm gonna put an edit right there. So this is all for mother <laughs> to see, okay? I'm not gonna say nothing. Mom, if you have any opinions, any thoughts, you can just say whatever you wanna say, whenever you wanna say it. Oh, let let, let them know how much, like, how much of a basketball fan you are. So they don't know Oh, snap. Yeah. For real? Yeah. Okay, so I am a basketball fan. I did fall off for a minute, but back in the, I would say 90s. Yeah, I was like the Bulls. I was the Bulls, I'm sorry. I was a Bulls. She was a Bulls fan. <laughs> I was a Bulls fan. And I mean, I liked other teams too. You call the Jazz, you call um, Utah Jazz, um, Indiana Pacers, uh, Celtics. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I, I always told myself, I told him, I said, yo, basketball, yo, I mean, what you can do with that ball. You know what I'm saying? You can do a lot. You can do yeah. a lot. If you were to pick a player, two different eras, the 90s, uh -huh. you pick one player from the 90s, so that's go from. Matt, Michael to Larry, no. and then a player in this era. Oh gosh. Okay, okay. so y'all might not like me, but it's all right. It's okay. It's cool. Um, back in the '90s era, out of all the players, I would have to say was MJ. Now in this era, ooh boy, I would have to say, and being honest, um, LeBron James. I actually thought you were gonna say Steph Curry. I thought I was. But when I really like dissect the player and yeah. see what that player is all about and what he brings to the team, um, Steph Curry brings a lot to the team and everything. I just feel that LeBron James does a real good job. Respect. Overall. Respect. I don't want to hear nobody in the comments. <laughs> okay. I'm already, I already, I know y'all. I know y'all going to be. Y'all going to be LeBron, LeBron, like, calm down. Calm down. <laughs> I think that's about it. That's about it. We're gonna get straight into the action. And uh, yeah, let's get crack a lack in. Three, two, one, let's go. Stories about Kobe Bryant. And most of us have actually seen with our own eyes how incredibly tough the guy was. I was wondering how, Trying he to play on a like, how they shoot the right there at the, the corner. Woo! Oh, the championship shot, with a yeah. fractured finger. He's got a great case for being the toughest player in NBA history. Man. But then there's Larry Bird. And many people don't know it, but he might have been equally as tough, the Bird. Not tougher than Kobe Bryant when it came to pain tolerance. Bird was such a warrior that he often oh didn't even gosh. like to let the team staff know he was hurt. That is until later in his career when his back had deteriorated to an unbearable point. Oof. And because Bird was such a warrior, today I want to tell you guys four crazy stories about Larry Bird's insane level of toughness. What's up NBA fans, Dom 2K on the mic, and you've probably seen the shots of Larry Bird torturing himself later in his career when his back was forcing him into retirement, but you might not know what allowed him to deal with that pain in the first place. It turns out Larry what? was dealing with physical ailments even before That's he entered the league. Before he'd ever played a game with the Celtics, he actually had his knuckle shattered by a baseball that put his professional career in jeopardy. Good but Lord. because he's Larry Bird and Larry Bird is from that. a different planet, he was able to put together a top 10 NBA career despite not ever having the same shooting touch before he shattered his knuckle. Wrap your mind around that for a second. He shattered his knuckles and still became one of the wow. best shooters. Wow, that's crazy. Old mouth that he never had the same feel for the basketball after the knuckle injury. But as the it turns out, injury. that's just an appetizer compared to what he'd endured throughout his career. Let's jump into it. Number four, hole in the face. I figured we start off with something hole crazy we've face. seen before. I'm sorry. Remember when Russell Westbrook fell down after his free throw and got a hole kicked in his jaw? Yeah, <gasps> that's a lot yeah. of us wondering if Westbrook was actually that's an actual thing. He got, I got, he got up, moved his mouth around a little bit, and finished up what was left of the game. Luckily for him, that was only about one second of game time. However, a it hole? turns out that 33 oh. years earlier, Larry oh, Bird actually had already accomplished oh, his geez. superhuman feat, and surprisingly, he did Westbrook one better. I originally thought there wasn't footage of this on YouTube, but I'm so thankful there was because you need to witness how brutal this was. 
In a 1982 game against the Milwaukee Bucks, Larry Bird drove left to the basket and tried to bank in a routine jump shot. It clanked off the rim, Bird went up to rebound his own miss, and was violently elbowed by power forward Harvey Catchings. Oh, good lord. When Westbrook's injury was an accident by his own teammate that didn't even look too bad initially, it's a bit difficult to look at this footage and say it wasn't on purpose, and you actually cringe a bit when you see how hard the shot was. The elbow practically knocked Bird out and left him lying on the floor for several minutes as he looked seriously injured. Wow. From what I can tell in the tape, the injury appeared to happen before the end of the third quarter because like Larry Bird went back to the locker room and came back out before the period <laughs> ended. In the fourth quarter, playing with what we now know was a fractured zygotic arch, Bird would score eight more points including a poster oh dunk, two assists, adding some defense and hustle plays Good as play he was ago. even shoved out yeah, of bounds during one of the possessions. His efforts led the Celtics to a narrow win as he finished with 16 points, meaning he scored half of them with a fractured arch in crunch time, and even though we can't see it on Good the grainy Lord. 80s footage, Bird's jaw was depressed inward the same way Westbrook's was. After Larry left his heart on the floor for his team, he was sent to the hospital where doctors had to drill a hole into the side of his face and insert a medical tool to pop his zygotic arch back out. If no. social media had been around with clear footage back in these days, Good this performance Lord. would probably be a lot more famous. We were shocked to see Westbrook standing on his own with a hole in his face. Imagine watching Larry Bird play an entire extra quarter while leading his team to the win. Number 3. Just Give Me a Beer <laughs> it's understandable that Larry dealt with injuries like back problems and broken bones in the face. Those things just tend to happen when you're crashing into the floor and whatnot. But when Larry Bird had a toe infection, it really seemed like somebody was just what? testing how much he could take before he finally saw out a game. A toe infection? In the year 1985, Bird reportedly had a serious pain going on in his toe for three... Number two, double vision. Double vision. A lot of people can't even shoot when there's just one basket sitting still, so imagine trying to play in a professional game when you fractured your eye orbiter and you're seeing two baskets. Now the injury itself sounds pretty comparable to what Derrick Rose had not too long ago. Oh, the difference here Ooh. being that Rose got hurt before the season and was able to get his problems to a Fixing manageable ass. point before playing in a real game. Bird, however, would not be so lucky. In a 1988 game against the Cavaliers, Bird was on fire having scored 13 points in the first quarter. But when he spun away from Craig Elo with a clear lane to the basket, Dell Curry of all people would rotate and hit Bird with a violent oh, elbow to the side of his face. Kind of ironic that before Dell was raising the greatest shooter of all time, he was apparently trying to take out the best one of his generation. Anyways, Bird sustained a fractured eye orbiter that again kept him on the floor for minutes. He went on to the locker room for treatment, came back out like he had done six years earlier, only this time he would score 18 more points to put the finishing touches on a 31 point game that included 5 rebounds, 3 assists, and had, uh, skills on 11 to 20 shooting. But the like, stats weren't even the most impressive part. More power. Like he got adrenaline or something. Oh, yeah, when yeah, you get yeah, hit, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You're coming you coming back with power. Game, leaving him to guess which one he had to shoot at. But that's not the best part either. Not only did he light Cleveland up, but we know double vision doesn't go away after one game. As we've already established, if there was any other option than to sit a game out, that's what Bird was going to do. He ended up playing four more games with goggles that I'm not even sure anybody really knew he wore. And in those games, he scored 36, 30, wow. 28, and 34 points. In typical Larry Bird fashion, he shot a staggering 55% from the field with that. Violent elbow. People right. commend him for just goggles. being just on it. On it. That's what I'm saying. But to be still... That's Again, crazy. He's Larry Bird, and still Larry scoring Bird, yeah. as much as he's dead. What? Just add some to the story, apparently after the Cleveland game where he initially broke the orbiter, he noticed his nose bleeding after the game. He went to blow it and his eye bulged out a bit. Just a typical day in the life of Larry Bird, I guess. Number one, Celtic pride. You hear all this talk about Celtic Good pride Lord. anytime we speak about the history, and Larry Bird contributed in big part to that as his career was wrapping up. Possibly the most famous scene from the ending of his career is the one we've all seen. Larry was diving for a loose ball, goes crashing to the floor as his head bangs against it violently, and he just lays there as if his body couldn't take it anymore. <sighs> Truth be told, it really couldn't. Bird was dealing with insane back issues by this point in his career, and it was through sheer determination that he was even playing by this point. However, the story behind this scene is that not only was Bird's back locking up on him, face. but the shot mm -hmm. he took to the mm -hmm. head actually knocked him unconscious for a second and left him with a concussion that threatened to keep him out of the rest of an elimination game 5 against the Pacers. By this point, Larry was 34 years old and had missed 22 games throughout the season, and his best days had been stripped from him by an ever-deteriorating back. Wow. He sat in the locker room debating whether to go back into the game as Boston had lost their edge without him, and most of the way through the third quarter, the advantage was with the Pacers. 
When Larry asked the doctor for advice, he said he should be done for the day, but by this point, we all know Larry just wasn't built like that. <laughs> he was still breathing, so he went back into the game with the He's still breathing. Like, breathing. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. Back in the game, Boston would go on a ridiculous 33 to 14 run and went on to win the game by three points, sending the Pacers home for the playoffs. Bird finished with 32 points, nine rebounds, and seven assists while shooting 63% from the field. But again, that's not the most shocking part of the story. According to teammates like Robert Parrish, when Bird hit the floor, they weren't sure he was ever going to play again. Wow. Remember that this happened at the end of Bird's career, and after back surgeries and having to lay in a fiberglass brace for hours just to be well enough to he play, some thought that the I'm fall he took meant the I end of his career. And I mean, his whole body went Larry through Bird it. Was from Earth, but instead, he went out from and put his up head down to his toes. Playoff performances of all time. <laughs> yeah. The kind of performance yeah. that really makes you sad that his career was really cut short Lord, by injury. Geez. So there you have it. These were four crazy the stories that proved Larry Bird see. was likely yeah. the toughest player of all time. The crazy part about it? After reading the book he wrote with Magic Johnson and researching a little bit, I could have easily told Tina more. The truth that people don't really talk about in terms of Larry is that despite his amazing career, it was truly only a shell of what he could have been. As early as 1985, only six years into Larry Bird's career, he was already experiencing back issues that resulted from him doing that's concrete crazy. work around his house that he could have paid someone else to do. But that's just who Larry was, an incredibly hard worker that prided himself on being the same type of soldier his father was. Maybe Larry cherishes the story about his father when he came home one day from work and had a busted ankle. The next day, the ankle was so bad that Larry had to help him put the shoe on and his father went right back to work. It was the kind of example that led Larry to play through the ridiculous pain he began to experience really only a short way into his career. Bird played a total of 13 of the most memorable seasons any NBA player could produce, but oh imagine gosh. one of our modern stars only lasting 13 years. LeBron is already on his uh -oh. 14th campaign, Durant is already on his 10th, but what if those guys uh -oh. only played to 13 though? That's just for perspective of what a flash Bird's career really was. And we're lucky that for that short amount of time, he had the high pain tolerance that he did. Because if he was actually human and sat out those games that anybody else would have sat out, we would have likely seen even less of him. So in conclusion, I think Bird is proof that there is life outside of Earth, and we really aren't alone. Somewhere out there is the planet Larry Bird came from, where there is extraterrestrial <laughs> life that apparently doesn't feel any type of pain. Shatter their face, knock them out, just give them a few minutes and they're right back on their feet ready to play. And if they're generous enough, maybe they're going to send another That's one like Larry to Earth Larry. to play in the NBA in the future. But if that doesn't happen, I'm very happy that Larry Bird was a part of NBA history. I keep about. thinking he Who makes that. I don't know why. I don't know why. <laughs> Every time he does that. <laughs> Comment section because I'm pretty sure you guys have some. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell next to my name if you want notifications on my video. I'm Dom2K and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Wow. It's a raw power there. Rob power. What? That was good. Or a crazy story. That was, I think, you know, when you think about players mm -hmm. who go through some pain. Then yeah. you think about players who get hurt and it's like just sitting at the side. I mean, you gonna feel some pain, man. Yeah. That's a hard floor. And some people gonna bang you up. Larry got banged up. They kept on playing. So it's still kept playing. <laughs> yeah, talk I, about. I, I, can, I can name this countless people who was just like. But that's what I'm saying. That would and go, I wouldn't blame them. I wouldn't. If you broke your cheekbone, I won't blame you sitting out, bro. I'm <laughs> like, I would ask you, bro, you gonna play? Because I'll be surprised if you would. But and the fact that it's not even a question with Larry, it's not even a question. That's what I'm saying. Larry. And then, talk about double vision. I know. What? Seeing two rims. What? Uh, and, 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 and still playing? Like, make those shots with double vision. But it's like, you know, you still have back issues through all that your toe, your knuckles. Yeah. This, yeah, that. You still have back issues. That ain't going away. That's crazy. Man, that's, yeah, he, that's, that's, that's a 13 year career. That is. So I imagine with no pain, that's like. I'm saying. Give it up to the bird. To, to, and then <laughs> before you even go into the NBA, you're already your, your, your knuckles are already shattered to where you don't even shoot the ball the same way. Yet you're one of the greatest shooters of all time. And then you still go into pain. Exactly. And you still see that's that's that, the love of exactly. the game. Exactly. And that's why some people have Larry Bird's their goat. That's, that's their what I'm saying. Because, because of that factor. You know now, what I'm saying? Now see, I told you I was a Bulls fan, right? Right. But when Celtics came on, what happened? It's the bird, yo. I, I had to I had to keep my eye on that man. <laughs> you know what so, I'm saying?
was tough. It was so. tough, but it was good. Well, yeah. But hope y'all enjoyed this one right here. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. If you're new, so don't miss a beat. And uh, yeah, hope y'all stay well. Stay, stay blessed. Thank you very much, man. Peace. We out. Woo!